right, get set up for this. First thing we do is disconnect that battery cable as instructions say so. Leave that thing off for about, I think it says 20 minutes here. Uh, yeah, sleep mode. Got the instructions here up on the iPad Pro. So as you can see, you're going to go into sleep mode for the ECU, about 20 minutes. Uh, well, it says here that's only if you're doing that. I think you can just disconnect the battery and go straight forward. But anyway, we're going to take the engine cover back off. Like I said, it's those three bolts with the Allen heads. That shouldn't take us long. And then we'll just slap it back on when we're done. Anyway, all right, guys, stay tuned. Before I forget, yeah, this thing does come with instructions already with it, too, just FYI. I'm using the ones on the website just because I think it's easier. This is the piece that you need. This box, it's a Bluetooth version. It's inside the box here. Of course, they include a disclaimer, too. So, just saying, hey, read your shit. Don't just throw this, slap it on without reading your directions. So, I don't know if we'll run the thing into the, into the, uh, cab because I think we just use Bluetooth only. So all right hang tight. Okay, so you'll see if it says map you connect disconnect the map sensor which is the factory ones right here. You disconnect this piece from that, put this piece on here, and the female piece which is the hole. It's only one way you can do it so it's not very confusing. Anyway, so that's the map sensor part. So now we go on to the T map sensor. All right, same kind of same with the T map. Or, yeah, T map, whatever you want to call it. So this piece right here was initially connected to this. You just slide this thing back, pinch it, and pop it off. There's the female connector, which is, means this is a hole. It's ED versus out of right? Then you put the male connector on the T map uh, wire loop. Back in here, make sure you get in there snug, and then push this thing forward to lock it. Same thing with all these connections, they connect just connect just like the factory ones. Same thing with the map and the T-map. So now it looks like we just gotta wire this thing up and get it going. So after we got the tap and the map, we ran the wires. Now I snaked mine around through here, tied them up there, snaked them under here, put the negative right here on this battery terminal, positive right here on this very end one. Ran this cord around here, velcro this to the I did clean it off underneath there, by the way. So this is Velcroed on. All right, so we got everything up here. So y'all can see it. So you can see there is the, pull this light away a little bit because it's just a little too bright. There you go, that's a little better. So here we have the phone. Let's see if this changes with it. Okay, so that's green, it means stock. I don't know if you can see the phone. This is the Bluetooth app. And goes to sport, which is probably where it'll stay at most of the time in my driving. Then you have Sport Plus. I don't know, maybe if I just feel like getting on a little bit. And then the one I'll probably never use is race. So as you can see, the Bluetooth does work. So we're gonna put it back on Sport Plus and be good boys and girls. And we're gonna tuck this thing down here in a crevice to where it won't be in the way. I can always go back and add it in if I want to, but to be honest with you, I don't feel there's a need for it. One thing I do notice is that uh, this module stays lit up all the time when the ignition's on, so you'll have a little blue light reflection in your hood. So anyway, hope you guys like. We'll definitely test it out here soon. Uh, I gotta get somewhere where I can do some zero to 60 comparisons, and then we'll go from there. So hang tight. All right, so we got the scorcher on. At the engine cover back on as you can see you don't see those wires from up here get that back on everything working little modules take down to the side right there you see it light up but you won't see it from the outside so now let's hitch it we're ready to go Stock is 9.44.
so far we have 944 for stock or 9.44 seconds for sport we have 8.72 we did a race earlier and it was 8.0 so Sport Plus, that's actually better than what I did the first time on the race. I think it's safe to say that this thing definitely adds some improvement. You know, like I said, I'm not, I didn't buy this thing to go drag racing with. If I was going to drag race uh, as a hobby, I'd probably go with a Mustang or buy some little beater and just, you know, build the shit out of it for nothing. But, uh, it's actually not too bad at all. 7.93. That's pretty damn good considering our base point. It's almost that's about a second and a half over what we uh, what we had done. Anyway, bottom line, the thing works. Uh, you know, that's the point. It does add performance. I don't think I need to drive around and race. I think Sport Plus uh, is pretty. So, I typically don't run 93 octane. I am now just because I know it's going to be testing this. But to be honest with you, I think Sport Plus on 87 is perfectly good. So, anyway, hope you like our video. Please like and subscribe. Got a lot more stuff to come in the near future. And love to have you guys tag along for the adventure. Take it easy, man.